I just feel like if you do wrong, then you should pay the price. That ruined a lot of people's lives. Even mine, <laughs> really. After years of the people having a lead-filled water supply, the government finally started taking some kind of accountability. I am sorry, and I will fix it. No citizen of this great state should endure this kind of catastrophe. Government failed you, federal, state, and local leaders. Governor Rick Snyder made apologies, but the problems were just too big for a quick fix. After a decade of investigation, that congressional hearings, was... courtroom testimony, civil suits all point to the state being liable for the start of the crisis, nobody has paid the price. The criminal investigations were like a never-ending no roller coaster and were a huge disappointment for the people of Flint. Michigan's former Attorney General Bill Schutte's charges include 15 people, two companies, but no governor. Several of the charges included misconduct in office, conspiracy, and for some, involuntary manslaughter. And with these charges came promises he could not keep. We will proceed to deliver justice and hold those accountable who broke the law. These charges were a big step for justice in Flint, but they had one glaring omission. Governor Rick Snyder was charged with nothing. The new Attorney General Dana Nessel came in after Schutte's term ended. In June of 2019, out of nowhere, Nestle and the prosecution team dropped all of the charges brought forth by Schutte. This led to even more theory in Flint, as people thought the government had betrayed them once again. Nestle appointed a prosecution team that included attorneys Kim Worthy and Fadwa Hamoud to run the Flint water investigation. And with a new prosecution team, came not so new promises. But we will get it done. We will make the right and just decision at the end of our investigation. It took a year and a half for Nestle's team to bring new charges, which she finally did in January of 2021. Some of these charges included misconduct in office, willful neglect of duty, and once again, involuntary manslaughter. And this time, former Governor Snyder was added to the list of defendants. Two and a half years. Many court appearances and appeals later, there were no trials and still no answers from the Attorney General. The water you drink is toxic. Every aspect of your life will be impacted by whether or not you vote. That perfectly transitions into the um, Flint water crisis. Do we have any updates on the investigation? Not at this time, no. Really? All right, so it's been 10 years. Do you think justice is going to be... All right. Thank you. In the end, the prosecution failed due to the decision to use a one-man grand jury that backfired on them when the Michigan Supreme Court ruled that the use of a one-man grand jury was unconstitutional. Finally, on November 1st of 2023, all of the charges were officially dropped. The prosecution described the decision as putting the final nail in the coffin for the Flint water prosecutions. These cases are not, not going forward because the evidence isn't there. It doesn't mean that the defendants are not guilty. It means that no one will ever hear and no decision will be ever be made because this evidence is being denied from being heard. After the years of suffering the Flint people have had to go through, they are noticing the pure lack of justice. Nothing has changed, but it's a symptom of a worse problem. We have polluted the earth, the water, the air, and that's the way it is. Well, there was a time when we thought it, you know, we was going to see something uh, good happening for us, you know, but then it come that nothing's going to happen, you know. It has been 10 years since the start of the Flint water crisis. Since then, there have been two attorney generals, two sets of charges, thousands of lead poisoned children, at least 12 deaths because of the water, and yet still, zero justice for the people of Flint.